Hey guys, it's Jeff. I'm so sorry there hasn't been any content this year so far, but unfortunately I had a CES bug come to me as I was visiting that event. And since then, I just haven't been really feeling up to making content uh, simply because I've had this really nasty cough. But finally, we saw beta two of iOS 13.3.1. I wanted to give it about a day or so to give my uh, kind of like official thoughts and review on this software update, um, but it is here. And finally, we're seeing some major changes Changes come to beta 2 of iOS 13.3.1. So let's go ahead, dive into this update and see what's new and what Apple has changed within their newest software. Okay, so the first thing is we obviously have a new build number for beta 2. That is not really a surprise there, but we also have a new mode and firmware that is 1.04.05. The last update was ended in 0.01. So just a very small update here on the modem firmware side of things. I really wasn't having any modem issues uh, for LTE bands or anything like that previously. Uh, so I don't know exactly what fixes were brought within this update, but hopefully they do uh, you know, fix the overall performance or help the overall performance of LTE on your devices. Now, some other major changes that have been made within this update is actually Wi-Fi 6 compatibility. So if you have a newer device, that being the iPhone 11, 11 Pro Max, or 11 Pro, you likely were having issues with a compatible Wi-Fi 6 router. I have a Wi-Fi 6 router and of course the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and those, device were not, those devices were not able to communicate on beta one. There was a major issue where Wi-Fi 6 would not work um, between the two devices. It was simply a communication issue and uh, Wi-Fi would just not work at all. So fortunately in beta two, Wi-Fi six has been fixed now. I can properly communicate with my router. All of my devices are connected here and um, everything is working perfectly fine. So I'm very thankful that that has been fixed within beta two here. And if you have one of these newer devices and you're having that Wi-Fi six problem, that is now fixed and I definitely recommend the update. Now, another major thing that has been fixed, a really major thing is the speakerphone echo problem that was happening. Basically, I couldn't talk to anyone on speakerphone. I'd have my speakerphone on and individuals that I was calling would say that there was this very loud echo, very annoying echo in the background, and they could barely hear what I was saying because it would just keep on echoing and cause major audio issues. So a lot of you guys were commenting, I need this uh, you know, to be fixed. It's been over a month now since we've got our last update and people are just tired of hearing you on speakerphone. And finally now in beta two, it's been fixed. I've confirmed it. I've called multiple people on speakerphone. They say the issue is completely better and uh, we're on to uh, you know, a better experience on the phone app. So thankfully that has been fixed here within beta two. I would consider that a pretty major change or fix here within beta two, even though that was brought on in beta one. I'd say um, that is pretty major since we've been dealing with that for over a month now. Now, the last thing is background app refresh or background app activity. Um, there was some issues with background app activity being abnormally high uh, within beta one. I was experiencing this issue. I'm not sure how many people were, but I was just having Instagram, Snapchat, a lot of those like social media apps, which constantly update in the background. were having some issues with not really turning that off uh, when I'd not be within the app. Even if my phone was completely off or um, completely locked, they would still be updating in the background continuously, almost as if I was using them actively, and that would be draining my battery quite a bit. So that has now been fixed now. I noticed the app usage is way lower um, in the past 24 hours of using my device on beta two. So thankfully that will save on battery life, performance issues and all that. And that is also one of the major changes that have been brought to beta two of iOS 13.3.1. Now let's move on to speed and performance and then of course battery life. I just touched up on that just a little bit with that background app refresh issue. Uh, performance has not really changed. It's all within the margin of error, but battery life has significantly uh, been kind of like affected in the sense that if you have that background app refresh issue um, and that is now fixed, um, the battery has gained a slight edge in performance. So um, only if you had that issue would it be kind of like affected. We tested other devices that didn't have that background app issue, um, like an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and uh, unfortunately, battery life was not changed. So everything is pretty much within the margin of error performance-wise, and we're not really seeing any gains. So a very small update here, but a very big update for people who had the problems, like the bugs that were plaguing um, us in beta one of iOS 13.3.1. 
So guys, that was the update. I wanted to wait 24 hours before giving you guys kind of like a deliberation on if you should be, um, you know, installing this beta update or not. I'd say if you had beta one and you, you've had any of these issues that I kind of listed earlier in the video, uh, definitely go ahead and update. If you guys are still on iOS 13.3, you don't have any issues. Maybe you're looking for performance gains or new features. They are not within these beta updates. So no, uh, no, like, point in updating simply because that could raise even more issues um, you know when you update to a beta version now if you're on beta 1 and you're not really having any issues with beta 1 you're kind of just you know relaxing you don't you don't really have any complaints um, on beta 1 I'd still recommend updating just to make sure that you're on the latest beta um, software so far within the past 24 hours of using beta 2 I really haven't noticed any problems any major bugs or anything like that I think if there are any someone would really have to point them out to me so so um, it seems like beta 2 is very stable here and it seems like this is a very good build going into 2020. So guys, thank you for watching this beta update. I hope it helped you guys understand what's going on here in beta 2. If you guys have any comments, questions or anything like that, please leave those in the comment section down below. And before you go, I did mention I was at CES earlier this year at the start of the year, and that was an amazing event. There's a lot of things that are going on with the channel in relation to CES. I was able to meet a lot of people there and get in contact with some really cool companies. So we have a lot of stuff coming to the channel here in 2020. So if you want to stay up to date with all that, make sure to leave a like on this video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button. That is super important. That will give you updates as soon as we release any of that content that I'm referring to. So again, guys, thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Peace.